Miss Shelby, and I'm going to be your student nurse today, and I am here to place your NG tube. Um, before we get started, I'm just going to close the curtain for you, just for your privacy. There we go. Okay, and can you tell me your name and your date of birth for me? Mm-hmm. And do you have any allergies that I need to be aware of? No, no, Alex, it's perfect. Okay, Miss Amy, before we get started, I'm going to wash my hands. And, yeah, okay, I'm going to raise your bed up for um, just uh, um, so I can work at a comfortable height and the head of the bed. So you're Thank you, and now I'm going to raise your bed up. Okay, Miss Amy, um, I'm going to place the linen on you, and here is a bassinet in case you feel the urge to uh, throw up. You can do it in there. I'm going to um, get your tape ready for you. And Miss Amy, um, before we get started uh, with the NG tube, have you ever had any uh, NG tubes before? Okay, you haven't. Have you had any broken noses? <laughs> any broken noses? <laughs> have you ever broken your nose? No? Okay, well, before we get started, I need to determine what nostril I'm going to use. So, uh, can you blow for me? Thank you. And can you blow again? Thank you. Okay, I'm going to use your right nostril. And here is your NG tube. I'm going to coil it before we get, well, I'm going to measure it for first. So from the tip of your nose down, or to the top of your ear, all the way, I'm going to move your basin for a second, all the way down to the xiphoid process. Okay, and we are at 60 centimeters, so I'm going to mark that. your basin and here's your water cup because when I begin um, I'll tell you when you can use it to swallow to help you swallow so I'm going to coil the tube okay just make it more flexible okay I have that there I'm going to clamp my um, syringe okay and um, I would lube the tip of the Okay, um, Miss Amy, I need you to um, tilt your head forward, or no, sorry, I need you to <laughs> lean your head back and I'm going to insert the NG tube up your uh, right nostril, and um, when I hit the, when I get resistance, I'm going to need you to flex your head forward for me, but, okay, and remember here's your bassinet and your uh, cup. But I'll tell you, or, and when I, um, I'll tell you to swallow and you can use your cup <laughs> in a second. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay, Miss Amy. I'm inserting it up into your, uh, towards your septum. And now I feel resistance. So could you, uh, raise your head forward for, for me? Okay, and you can use your water cup to swallow for me. So continue to swallow, swallow, swallow. Good job, thank you. Swallow, swallow. Okay, thank you, Miss Amy. And I'm going to tape it right to your cheek. And for the purpose.
purposes of this video, um, I can't get the NG tube all the way in, but in real life I would uh, do it all the way in. So, um, can you speak for me? Just say hello. <laughs> and can you open your mouth? Okay, just making sure the tube didn't coil in the back of your throat. Okay, and now I'm going to check your pH. I'm going to uh, clamp the tube. Very good. Your pH is um, is in normal range between one and four, and that's what it needs to be. So it's in your stomach. Okay, I'm going to place that right there for you. And now I'm going to remove the tape, and I'm going to tape it to your gown, and I'm going to remove your basin and your water cup for you too, and get rid of your linen. I'm going to secure it up here. And there we go, Miss Amy. Thank you. Okay, taped it to your gown. Everything looks good. Is there anything else you need? No. Okay, I'm going to remove my gloves, and I'm going to lower the head of the bed for you, just a little bit, slow it down 30 degrees, awesome, and I'm going to lower your bed. Okay, your bed is lowered, Miss Amy, here is a call light, and I'm going to perform hand hygiene. Okay, Miss Amy, um, let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay, thank you. Um, I, <laughs> for documentation, I, um, the patient handled it well. Uh, I placed the NG tube in the right nostril, uh, verified disposition, which we didn't hook it up to suction, but, um, or to a feeding, so it's just by gravity. Um, the pH was good, so that verified placement. I would now uh, get an x-ray done um, with the doctor's order to verify placement of the NG tube. Um, the size of it was a 14 inch. I marked it to 60 centimeters, and I left the patient um, with the side rails up the, and the bed lowered. Hi, Miss Amy. My name is Shelby, and I will be your student nurse today, and I am here to remove your uh, NG tube. And before we get started, um, can you tell me your name and your date of birth for me? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay, and I'm going to perform hand hygiene. Okay, and now I'm going to raise your, the head of the bed up for you. Thank you. And I'm going to put the linen on you. And I'm going to put on my gloves. How are you doing today, Miss Amy? Good. That's good. I'm doing well. Thank you. Miss Amy, and I'm uh, here to remove your NG tube. And um, 
Before I remove it, I, I'm just going to check to see it's not up to suction. Uh, if it was, um, if the NG tube was up to suction, I would turn the suction off before I removed it. Okay, Miss Amy, I'm uh, going to begin the process of removing your NG tube. I'm going to remove the tape, and when I do it, I need you to hold your breath for me, okay? So, um, I'm going to remove, remove it, and uh, hold your breath for me. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good job, Miss Amy. Thank you. And now I'm going to remove it from your gown, too. Okay. And in real life, I would put the NG tube in a biohazardous bag, but since we don't have that today, I'm just going to set it to the side. Okay, Miss Amy, um, would you like, let me just clean your nose for you. <laughs> And would you like a warm washcloth today? No? Okay. No. You're totally fine. I'm going to remove the linen for, from you. You handled that very well, Miss Amy. Okay. And is there anything else you need from me? No? Okay. I'm going to remove my gloves. Before I'm hand hygiene. And so yeah, I'm gonna lower your bed for you. There you go, I'm gonna lower it to the floor. Okay, sorry, that kept leaning you down. Okay. Um, and is, oh, and here's a call light if you need anything. Don't hesitate to call if you do need anything, Miss Amy. So thank you, um, yeah, and I will see you later. Uh, patient tolerated the removal well. I removed it because I had a doctor's order to remove it, and there were no sores around the patient's uh, nasal area. And yeah, patient handled it well.